come out and support Global Green? Global Green is one of my favorite organizations. I I followed it for years, and it became something that it, it became a cause that was really close to my heart. Um, I have a six-year-old daughter, and the moment I had her, I started kind of becoming obsessive about our planet and what that what the future held for her and for hopefully grandchildren one day and whatnot. Um, and it just one door opened to another, and it just took over my life and so this is one of those events that I can actually come to and I'm so passionate about and um, and just happy to be out supporting. And what are some of the things on a day-to-day basis to help We're trying you? hard down here. Where do I begin? <laughs> I try so hard. I um, I drive a hybrid. I have a really big, extensive backyard garden. I have a ch I keep chickens. We recycle. We try to eat local, organic. Um, we try to know our farmers. I'm, and and it, that's just the tip of the iceberg. And you know, being in the music industry, is, is there anything you think that the music industry can really do yes. to help become more green? Being in the music industry, especially, there there we are barely, barely, barely even making a dent. Um, when you go to venues, there are a lot of venues don't even have recycling containers. Um, we really need to get that fixed. A lot of tour buses could be running on biodiesel, um, and they're not. And um, those are two of the biggest things. But literally, when we go backstage, there's just bottles of water and plastic. And um, that's one thing that I'm hoping to see kind of change in the next few years. That's something that I'm really hoping. Urging. Thank you. <laughs> I'm freezing. Right. What are you wearing? I have to ask. Herb Legere. Yeah. And then are you, what are you working on currently? Are you making some new music? Yeah. I'm in the studio right now working on a new record and um, and hoping it'll be out soon for everyone to hear. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.